Here is a question on transform functions, unit test 1 of the year 2015. Given the function f of x, sketch image y equals to minus 2 f of x plus 5 minus 1. Show all steps. Now we have a graph of a circle this time where the center has been translated one unit up, right? Now in any case, to sketch a graph, let us take few points. So this is a good point to start with. Let's say A, and we know coordinates for point A are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say this is B, where the coordinates of point B are 3, 1. And then let me take this as C. The coordinates of point C are 0, 2 minus 2. And then we'll take this as D. Coordinates are minus 3 and 1. So with the help of these points, we'll explain all the steps, correct? So let me first write down the points which we are considering for the circle. So we have A, which is the y-intercept, B, which is 3, 1, C, which is 0, minus 2, and then we have D, which is minus 3, 1. So these are the points on the function f of x, correct? So these are on the point on the function f of x. Now if we do minus 2 times f of x, then what happens? Minus 2 times f of x will do what? That is a vertical stretch by a factor of 2 and a reflection on x-axis. Right? So every y point really gets multiplied by minus 2. x points remain same. So that is the effect of this transformation. So what we will do is we will write a dash as x points remain same multiply the y point by minus 2. So we get minus 8. So b dash will be 3 minus 2. c dash will be 0. Minus minus becomes plus, so we have 4. And d dash should be minus 2. So that is how these points are going to be. So we can actually plot these points and then the circle. So a reflection will mean it will be it is at present 4 units plus, right? So this point comes at minus 4 and then it gets multiplied by 2. So it is minus 8. So this is 5, 6, 7, 8. So that becomes the position for A dash, right? Similarly, all other points. So, so this point, which is B for us, it is 1 unit above. It comes down 1 unit, gets multiplied. So that is the position and that is B dash. Okay, it's good to use another ink at this moment. So we'll use B dash. Let me write A dash. Okay, similarly, C, which is right here, one, two units down, will go two units up and then get multiplied. So that becomes C dash for us. And D, one unit up, comes down, gets multiplied by two. So there you are. So that is the stretch, right? So vertical stretch and reflection. So that is how our graph is. Vertical stretch and reflection, right? So that is how the graph should be looking like. So this is after reflection and vertical stretch. Now we have to do the translations. Two translations. One is five units left. The other one is one unit down, right? So these are the translations which we should do. So if we do both the translations simultaneously, which we can do, right? Let's do them at the same time. We'll get our function, right? So we'll do, for x, we are translating 5 units left. That means minus 5. So I'm writing a double dash minus 5 for each x value. So that is minus 5. And for b dash, minus 5 will give us minus 2. For c dash, minus 5. Okay, we'll work out that. And for d dash, minus 5 will mean minus 8. So we got the x location. As far as the y location is concerned, the coordinate points will be 
one unit down that means minus one so minus one of minus eight will be minus nine here it will be minus three in this case it will be minus four and here it will be plus two so that is how the points are going to be right so okay now d and b let me check so minus three minus sorry so minus right minus three sorry we have minus one i just multiplied by negative anyway so these are our final points let's see where each points go so a that means five units left one two three four five and one down right so that should be a dash for us correct so that is a dash we'll say a double dash the final point correct minus five nine yes it is so you can check correct now here this point one two three four five and one down so that should be the point so this point is d double dash for us okay this point it has to go one two three four five units and then one so it comes here right so that is the left half okay now the last point is b dash one two three four five and one unit down okay so that is how it should be okay. we'll connect these points let me write b double dash correct so that is how we get a final transformed function which is y equals to minus 2 f of x plus 5 minus 1 right so that's the way to do it we could have done directly also that is to say if x and y are the original points then on the transformed function the x point is minus 5 so original value minus 5 for y point we have to multiply it by 2 and then take away 1 so that is your ultimate equation which gives you transformation from here to the final stage I hope with this the concept of sketching graph of transfer function is absolutely clear for you. Thank you and all the best.